Dogs of Nairobi. They went to Africa, modern day poachers, pirates, risking all to capture wild dogs from deep within the heartlands of Nairobi. Resembling some of the most valuable breeds found in the United States today, these dogs will undoubtedly command a large dollar return for their captors' efforts. In their natural habitat, these dogs are very docile. But now America is in for a surprise. The captors went to Africa to bring the wild dog to America. To pass on them off as domestic pets, but nobody expected the dogs to bite back another one. And now the news with Sally Fox Davidson. At the top of today's news, another wild dog of Nairobi attack. Vicious beasts with a vendetta of destruction is how these animals were described by a witness to today's attack. An elderly man and his attendant were mauled during the morning walk near the convalescent hospital. I'm sure glad that's not our little feet. Witnesses say no, a gang of six or seven dog. wild dogs of Nairobi jumped out of the bushes and attacked the men. They were rushed to County General Hospital where Sal Rumble, age 106, and his attendant, Joseph Humble, 32, are listed in fair condition. For more on this story, we'll go to our field correspondent, Bob Fox. Bonfire here on location at the Doomsday Convalescent Home. With us today we have Theo Mario Schmidt, eyewitness to today's wild dog of Nairobi attack. Theo, can you tell us a little bit about what you were doing at the time of the attack? What I was doing? What's that important for? Well, let's see. Oh, well, it had to do with my eyes. It really did, because there's never a minute that I'm not doing something for my eyes, either putting... Theo, can you tell us a little bit about the attack, a little bit about the wild dog attack? Well, it didn't... Ha it didn't ha I wasn't there right at the moment. I heard the noise, and I rushed out, as, as, as many of us did, to see... We, we what did you see when you rushed out? People all over screaming and everything, and uh, somebody said something about dogs were attacking a patient in another room down here. Yes, uh... As I understand, they were attacking uh, Saul, age 106. Did you know Saul? Oh, I, I've, I've known him 106 years, I think, the way I bored with him. <laughs> okay. Well, Saul's okay. He's all right. Yes, I knew him just like all the other patients did. He talked on ear, one ear and all the other. Yeah, yes, I knew Saul. Can you give us a description of the dogs? Well, I can't give you first hand, you know, because my eyes are bad. I, I can never see. My eyes are really, they be, they've even been in books about medicine, about eyes. Uh, well, let's see the dogs, the description about the dogs. They were big. They were, they were large, yes. And they had tails, I assume, and they had ears, I assume, because do all dogs do. I'm not sure they were dogs. What makes me think they were dogs? The tails and the ears I, and, and teeth. My Lord, the teeth. I saw nothing but screaming dogs and teeth showing all over the place. If... Rex Rex had been here, I'd say he looked like Rex. If you knew Rex Rex, I'd say he looked like Rex Rex. Rex Rex was our family dog. My mother named him Rex Rex. And uh, one day he foamed and foamed at the mouth. This was terrible. My father rushed out, came back with a shotgun, and shot him dead. 
Oh, I'll never forget that day. Excuse me, I always have to, my eyes tear so because I have eye trouble, very serious eye trouble. And, uh, Thank you, Mrs. Maria Schmidt, and we'll keep you posted on all updates. We do recommend, however, that you keep all your domestic house pets confined until we have this situation under control. Now back to Sally in our studio. Oh, I want a question. Does my little dog, would he go wild? <laughs> Does he have to go wild? This incident is the 69th wild dog of Nairobi attack reported nationally this week alone. The frequency of these attacks are outstanding. In Washington, the president is meeting with top-level officials to discuss the possibility of declaring a state of emergency, as well as examining ways to neutralize these so-called wild dogs of Nairobi. Mm. Dr. Seymour Stonehead, Ph.D. I am the professor of animal origin at Schlock State University. I recently have completed extensive research on the so-called wild dog of Nairobi phenomenon. All information seems to indicate there are multiple factors contributing to the cause of the recent epidemic of wild dog of Nairobi attack. One of these factors is demographic. Yes, the relationship between their natural origin and their foster home plays a dramatic effect on their behavior. Over here on the globe, I can better explain. Here is Africa. Over here in Eastern Africa lies Kenya. Down in the southern region of Kenya lies Nairobi. It is from here these dogs originate. They dwell in the forest and high plains throughout the area. Yes, they live in the wild, but here in their natural habitat, there have been no reports of these dogs attacking anyone. It is with this information, I believe, the key to resolve the wild dog of Nairobi crisis lies. Other factors leading to the attacks include the apparentness that these dogs understand and resent being taken from their homes, and their existence in the free wild. The most unusual fact seems to involve gravity pull. Yes, gravity. This will be more fully understood with the aid of this authentic wild dog of Nairobi skeletal illustration. This particular species is the Pomerania Nairobi. Notice the knob here on the inside of each leg. Through careful study, I have found that below the equator, gravity pull is such that it slightly pulls apart the legs from one another, thus keeping these knobs from knocking together. But above the equator, gravity pulls the legs together, causing these knobs to knock, resulting in great pain to the dog. While these are the main reasons for the attacks, there are others as well. By no means will just knowing these things solve the crisis. It is a start. This is Dr. Stonehead saying be alert and be careful. Thank you. Seems like these are occurring more frequently each day across America. 
Immediate action must be taken or the crisis will rage beyond control. An end must come to the rampage of the wild dogs of my room. Dogs of Nairobi! Dogs of Nairobi! Dogs of Nairobi!